Hi, everybody. Welcome to Breakfast All Day. Matt, Christy, Alonzo. Hi. Uh, Fast and Furious is now veered off into presents colon territory <laughs> uh, as we get Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. It's a spinoff. And it's so good. And there's so much spinning. There's oh. spinning out into a spinoff. Yes. Uh, why don't you describe Matt since you love it so I much? I love this movie. All right. So uh, Hobbs and Shaw uh, finds yet another threat to the world, but this time instead of just a group of drivers kind of inadvertently saving the world, uh, now we have a whole group of people um, that are you know trying to really take over the world, and uh, we bring back Hobbs. Um, who's with the DSS, and he's got to team up with former MI6 agent Shaw, played by Jason Statham. Hobbs is played by Dwayne Johnson, a.k.a. The Rock. They do not like each other, uh, but have to put their differences aside and work together and see who is more macho, and there is driving, (laughs) and there is action, and it is... This is... Almost as if somebody watched Triple X and thought, you know what? We could do a better James Bond extreme movie, extreme James Bond, than even Triple mm-hmm. X did. And by God, they did it. And I loved this movie. Well, if, um, that's, if that's the bar, sure. It's Ken as Mas Macho. Uh, <clears throat> I love that. It is <laughs> really stupid. It's right. re- like stupid with five O's. Like stupid. more so, th- but like more uh, so than you expected. Like, didn't you? We, oh no, it was it's, exactly, it's exactly like, what we wanted to be. Right. Uh, this th- is exactly like when you like. This was Christmas. It's like <laughs> this is like uh, you know when you think of like the cliche of like the crazy goofball college party that you see in the movies, and then you get there and it's exactly that, and <laughs> to the point that like sometimes you're like, oh, actually, this kind of sucks, <laughs> but in all, like you're drunk enough that it's fun. That's what this movie is. Like, it's dumb, it's loud, it's obnoxious, but it moves fast enough, and it definitely knows it's pretty dumb. Um, It does stretch believability, even just within the realms of the rules that it sets up. I was going to say, its its own internal logic is kind of up for grabs. Its own internal logic. Like, sometimes the effects (laughs) and the set pieces, you you definitely see the seams and the gaps in them. Um, Also, there's that one big climatic section where, like, it begins at night. And then all of a sudden it's daytime. Yeah. And then it's night again and <laughs> well, it's raining. Listen, the sun comes up <laughs> fast in Samoa. And then, you know. Or Hawaii a, where they shot it. Well, right. But then, you know, then there's a lot of, you know, the rain and the clouds from the explosion. Like, that's going to make it dark. But there's like a ticking time bomb element of that part. There's like a 30 minute, like, deadline to that section right. of the film. That is the longest ticking time bomb. Oh, and there, all of a sudden it's like daylight. Two, two ticking time bombs if you're paying attention. One literal. Oh, oh yeah. Now I was talking about the, 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 there's a physical one that you see. Yes, yeah. I, I, I. Granted, I will say one one thing is y'all. I assume saw this at the press screening, and I assume yeah. it was full. You know, I, yeah, they had two theaters full of it. Yeah. I saw it with eight people at nine o'clock in the morning, so that might that have ha- played some part in it. Now, th- there's nothing. There is nothing wrong with this movie. It, it it does, as Matt likes to say, what it says on the box. I think it does more. It delivers all those things, and it it's goes like over all the tops, box. and it you know. Whatever, uh, the the, I, the macho posturing I found kind of tiresome, but I was fascinated how they managed to thread the needle of being like grossly masculine all the time, but never sexist. You know. it, will, it, help, it helps to have a badass like Vanessa yeah, Kirby, Vanessa who is Kir- everybody's equal yeah. and more so. And Vanessa even. Kirby is nobody's damsel and nobody's wilting flower. So it's like, yeah, no matter how ridiculous the dick measuring gets in this movie, she sails above it all. And it's really, it's never aimed at any woman. So it's like, okay, kudos Hobbs and Shaw for that. I, it's, it's This is kind of the same thing I had with Spider-Man, where I, I enjoyed it and it's really well done and nothing against it. I am feeling the barrage of this every week. I feel like this is the movie that the studios know how to make, the only kind they know how to make or want to make Mm -hmm. because they can sell it in Malaysia or whatever. Yeah. And it's wearing me down. (laughs) Our our friend Paul DeGarabedian posted a story on Facebook today about how it's going to have one of the lower openings for a Fast and Furious movie, but they expect that it will have massive international legs Mm. because Dwayne Johnson's such a massive international star and there's recognition of just the name of the franchise, you know, worldwide. It's made like, what, a billion dollars worldwide or something stupid like that. So, um I don't know. I don't know that there's like excitement for Hobbs and Shaw. I mean, it's I fun watching them like bicker and banter. It's off the top. It's edited in this really snappy, crisp way with like split screens. And of course, it's like it's giving you what you want in these guys. Like 
you know, Hobbs is always going to be Hobbs and Shaw is always going to be Shaw and they're always going to clash. And then eventually they meet up with each other and they literally physically do clash. And it's like giving the people what they want, but it's done in a really stylish and energetic way that makes it really grabby off the top. I would say what the problem here is, is it is way longer than it needs to be. It's like two hours and 14 minutes long. And I don't know if they said this to you before you're showing Alonzo, but like they told us at our press screening, like stick around through the credits oh, yes. because the other fucking thing with every summer franchise is yes. they've got end credit scenes so much shawarma. whether they need to or not like nothing that right. happens in these scenes you can go you guys you can go to the bathroom right. you can yeah, go to your fine. car and leave you will not be like bereft right. of important knowledge here the, there's nothing that happens in the like sometimes in a Marvel movie in some movies yeah, there's they some lay out a major groundwork like oh ooh, this is not that this is not that this is like it's it's the equivalent almost of what you would get like when Jackie Chan, which he got from Cannonball Run, would start putting in uh, outtakes during the credits. Mm-hmm. Like that's almost what this is. It's but it's not even out. that. It's but more it's like like right. it's, it's more like here's another button for this right. joke that right. we told in the first. Right. Here's, act, some, here's some more screwing around. It's but that being said, like you know, yes, that goes on too long, and it does sometimes. There are some times where it's like, okay, come on, let's get back to the fun stuff. Um, but we, boy, we, sh- we, sh- we should mention Idris Elba <laughs> oh, yeah. right, as the cartoon bad and guy. And he's an excellent right. fit for them. He even walks in and says, I'm the bad guy. I mean, he's a badass. <laughs> yeah, right. he's, he's great. Right. He's black Superman. And, and, and there's, and there's right. some fun with that. Yeah. Um, he's also, no, I'm not going to say it. Well, that, yeah, the, 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 the final fight <laughs> had me thinking, wow, you've been designed to be like the super kick-ass badass and this is your weakness? Like, this is the thing you can't <laughs> over, you can't surmount? Like, but again, no, I was, have, I was gonna, who cares about internal logic? We have shit to blow up. The thing that is, you know, the MacGuffin here is, you know, Nick said to me, because I brought Nick, of course, it's mm. Baby's first Fast and Furious movie. Um, the, the thing that the MacGuffin is meant to do is also a thing that we have seen in other big superhero franchises. Right. Oh, sure. Right. In terms of, like, its purpose and its theoretical, philosophical reason for it, well, as, also, as opposed to mass would, chaos. Wouldn't the MacGuffin do what the bad guys want it to if they did nothing at all? What do you mean? Like, if basically, if they, if they, I mean, they do have to stop them from the the, the thing that right. will prevent it. But beyond that, that's it. Like, mm-hmm. because if the if the MacGuffin happens, then the awful thing that will happen is the thing that the bad guys want to happen. Yeah. Right. But they right. But she gets a hold of it to shut it down. Right. And they wanted to get a hold of it to get it out. And, right. right. But all they have to do is stop them from shutting it down, and they're good. But the, they just right. make it more complicated. Anyway, so, look, Hobbs and Shaw is the Hobbs and Shaw that it's supposed <laughs> to be. I just feel like I've seen eight Hobbs and Shaws in 2019 already, and I want... I'm, I got a link to a 14-hour Argentine movie, and I can't wait to dig into it. <laughs> What's it called, Londo? La Flor. Are know. we are we gonna review it? Do you think at some I, point? I'll get you a link if you want. <laughs> it opened today in New York. It opens in LA next Friday. It's three oh, times there. longer than a bread factory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are there car chases in it? Uh, part of it is a spy movie. Actually. They're very slow okay. though. All right. It's a slow yeah, speed I mean, chase. <laughs> this is the you know we've seen the Fast and Furious series get into heist movies and you know over the top action. This yeah, is it's already been a superhero movies. franchise. Right. No, this one is is straight up like oh they're superheroes. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, absolutely. I I really thoroughly enjoyed this movie. And yes, if you've if you're getting overwhelmed by all of the spectacle, spectacle, mm-hmm. you know, at, in a summer where we've already got Endgame and a bunch of other big movies, yes, this is it, yet another. This is yet another. <laughs> um, that being said, I really really enjoyed this. I did, but I was ready for it to end. And the stuff that happens in Samoa is like so ridiculously over the top oh, and so totally. defies logic. Like, how does that road keep going? Like. <laughs> is is it like one road and they just keep going in circles? Yes. Why why is the road not yes. end? That's <laughs> that's, that's the again, leap of logic you had to issue. But with. I shouldn't be thinking about these things with the helicopter and the trucks. No, I was right? I, my my <laughs> thing was the uh in, when they're in the Ukraine and they're all chasing each other through the windows of the abandoned factories. Yeah. I, I had that moment where my brain goes is anything I'm seeing on screen <laughs> a real thing or is it all pixels? Mm-hmm. And I know that most action cinema these days mm-hmm. is that way. But if I stop and think about right. it during a movie, that means someone's not doing their job. You should be so transported and so like engrossed in the moment and exactly. the thrills of it. Like I didn't think that during Endgame and I'm sure there's a ton of that. Yeah. Now it's, uh, it's fun. And also it is about hashtag family. 
in case you were ever wondering. Sure. They do try to still be a Fast right. and Furious movie in mm-hmm. that you've got scantily clad yeah. babes gyrating at one yes. point. You've got cars. You've got you know Shaw and his McLaren. You right. liked all that stuff, didn't you, Matt? Yeah, I did. your favorite I stuff, mean, that isn't was, it? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, actually, this is kind of the stuff where at certain points, like working all of the custom cars into the climax was a little bit like, yeah, we don't, I'm okay if we don't keep working cars into this series. Like, we, like it could be something else. It could be something else. They, they You're also, still a fast They intercut the logos in the weirdest times. I saw that, you yeah. Understand? Like, yeah. there's a part where it's like, I can foot on the gas pedal and then the tire screeching and then McLaren logo. And then something <laughs> like, wait, what? Why well, was that's, that there? Yeah. This car taste is brought to you by McLaren. <laughs> right. Uh, and also, it's about hashtag family because both of them have to reconnect with their families in order yes. to make everything work. So, yes. it, it's it, all it, of a piece in that regard. Much like season two of Big Little Lies, <laughs> a lot of the backstories felt very similar to each other. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I'm okay. saying I'm saying seven. <laughs> Six point eight. You guys are too low. Eight and a half. Our number is seven point four. It's at sixty nine percent and nice. dropping on the it's tomato meter. That's too low. If you need an air conditioning delivery device, <laughs> this is a long one, and mm-hmm. you will not mostly not be bored. That's a good way to look yeah. at it. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go with it's that. It's better than less than bored. There were some moments mm. where I did feel the two hours and 15 minutes, but a few of them, okay. I will grant you. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Mm-hmm. Uh, like this video, won't you? And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us at BeFastAllDay on uh, All the Instagram, places. Twitter, and Facebook. And do go to Patreon.com slash BeFastAllDay, where we have lots of extra goodies for our subscribers. We talk about movie news. We talk about trailers. We do TV recaps, all kinds of stuff. So check it out. Bye. Mm-hmm.